It's no wonder why divers flock to Bonaire, as it's a haven for uncommon sea life encounters. Despite the ongoing spread of stony coral tissue loss disease, we continue to see amazing sea life every week. Here are some of our more recent finds. Lately, we've seen seahorses at multiple dive sites. In fact, several sites have at least three. Generally, the females are very colorful, while the males are more muted. Make sure to check all the rope sponges and other branching sea life. Happy hunting! Even though we live on Bonaire, we still hire local guides from time to time, as they are generally up to speed on where the cool stuff is. In this case, Yolanda from Go With Yo Diving found us a couple of beautiful pipe horses, which were first-time captures. Another animal that's quite hard to find is a frogfish. The deep red color on this one against the much lighter lettuce coral made it easier to spot. But they certainly aren't all that obvious. It's impossible to dive Bonaire and not see a parrotfish. Stoplight, striped, princess, and red band are some of the most common. That said, there is a school of blue parrotfish that hangs around in the sand pretty regularly, and their color is just stunning. We saw this box crab in the distance and swam a bit closer. At first, it wasn't too sure about us and buried itself after a few steps but eventually felt more comfortable taking longer walks. The sand is home to sea snails as well. We caught this gorgeous music volute just as it was burying itself to wait out the day. How about another crab? This one is a red ridged clinging crab and was another first time capture. Sorry it's a little out of focus, but it was hiding between two sections of lobed star coral. Still counts though. To be fair, horse hijacks aren't that uncommon, but we only see them once a week or so. Still, that's typically in deeper water, and this small school was patrolling the shallows in less than 10 feet of water. Whenever we see trash or fishing line, we do our part to clean up the reef while diving. Leslie multitasked here a bit with some fishing line and vigorously pointing to something behind me, which was a turtle. She loves the turtles, but then again, who doesn't? This one is a hawksbill. It's currently turtle nesting season on Bonaire, so there have been lots of sightings lately. And they're also equally enjoyable, though some would say cuter, on land. Even though it's August and well past the springtime, there are a lot of babies on the reef right now. Unfortunately, we haven't seen many adult queen triggerfish on the island, but there are a number of juveniles. We're hoping to watch these guys grow up over the next few months. Always check in the lobed star coral, because you never know what's going to be hiding in there. In this case, it was a juvenile spotted trunkfish. The dark spots against a lighter body is just the opposite of a juvenile smooth trunkfish, which have dark bodies and lighter spots. Okay, so this isn't necessarily the most interesting juvenile, but we don't see them more than a few times a year. The black top half and bottom white half are trademark colors of a juvenile yellowmouth grouper. This is what they look like as adults. We also saw quite a few juvenile rock beauties at several different sites. That black spot on top eventually grows to cover most of its body. And hiding in a shallow crevice next to one of those rock beauties was a juvenile banded butterfly fish. This one was less than an inch long. Sticking with butterfly fish, this juvenile is a baby spot fin butterfly fish. Notice the camouflage striping to confuse predators about which way it's facing. Let's go even younger. The small gray pea pod looking thing is actually three squid eggs. Other eggs look even more strange. While this looks like plastic trash, the spiral pattern indicates something natural. It's actually a sand collar, which is an egg mass produced by moon snails. How cool is that? In the animal behavior category, Leslie pointed out this flounder, which looked like it was eating something. 
It wasn't until we reviewed the footage at home that we saw it appeared to be fighting with a small octopus. Notice the tentacles trying to get a grip outside while the head is in its mouth. A bit later, it flipped over to try to scrape the tentacles off in the sand. This southern stingray was out on the hunt for breakfast one morning, slowly probing the shallows using its electroreceptors to find mollusks, crustaceans, and other small animals hidden in the sand. Every once in a while, we'll see a large school of blue tang roam the reef and descend on coral heads to eat some algae. If they didn't move so fast, it really would be interesting to follow them for a while. You know what else is fun to watch? Garden eels. It may look like a hula party, but they're really feeding on drifting plankton and other nutritious particulates drifting with the current. This one is sort of a first-time capture, as we haven't seen flying grenards on Bonaire yet. We saw several, including a juvenile on Curaçao, but not here, until now. Tiger tail sea cucumbers are fairly uncommon in general, so to see this one so active was extraordinary. Well, that's it for August. You really can't go for more than a couple of dives on Bonaire without seeing something new and amazing. Imagine what you'll see when you visit. Oh, before we go, if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. There's also a like button down there. Thanks. Smiley face.